everybody, what's up? It is Friday. Yeah, Friday, October 23rd. All right, so a couple of things I want to talk about. First of all, market uh, mostly recovered from what was initially a down day. Now, we've been buying these dips uh, because the fiscal situation is very, very strong. All right, we're up $75 billion already in spending over same time last year. The tax flows, man, they're really strong. I mean, corporation income tax flows going up. Individual income tax flows going up. Now, to me, looking at this, it suggests or it indicates rising corporate earnings, sales and profits, rising earnings by workers. But yeah, it's not you know all equally distributed, but like I've been saying, all of this spending, all of this government spending, it has to flow somewhere. Now that might be a shrinking universe of companies and workers, but hey, I didn't set up the system, so don't kill the messenger. I'm just here to try to help you, you know, make some money in the market. Now the market is well supported. The economy uh, is supported, not maybe not broadly, but in the sectors that are benefiting from all of this spending. Uh, let, me, let me talk about some possible scenarios because I'm seeing some interesting developments. Uh, one thing is that, you know, from what I'm seeing, there are some big expectations now, bets, market bets being placed on the election. Well, obviously, right? Uh, but the expectation or the, the very bullish scenario is for the so-called blue wave. Now again, I, I'm not going to opine on that, all right? I'm not going to make a judgment call on that. I'm just saying that's what's out there right now. You know, you have like Goldman Sachs, you have a lot of people saying, hey, the blue wave is going to be super bullish. That's a, a, you know, a Biden victory and, and the Democrats take the Senate. And again, I'm not making a judgment call on that, all right? I'm just saying that's what the expectation is. People are betting on that. So the flip side of that is not a blue wave where you could have Biden win and the Senate held by Republicans, or you can have a Trump win. Now, personally, I think that um, all of this is kind of irrelevant because I look at policy, and as long as the flows remain supported and at the levels we see them now, then any negative reaction off of the election, and I do think that the potential is there, well, two things. Number one, we could have a negative reaction because of an outcome that's not anticipated. Or, you know, we could have a super bullish reaction that takes bullish sentiment to an extreme level. I think uh, that's the thing that you kind of have to be anticipating. And right now, it looks to me, just based on what I see in the futures market, it looks to me like it tilts more in the direction of some kind of a sharp sell-off following the election. That's just what I see right now in the futures market, you know? But let me go back to my original point. If Policy does not change, and it will not change immediately, okay? Even if Biden gets elected, um, there's not going to be no immediate policy change. I mean, spending is going to stay at the level it is at least until Biden gets sworn in next January. Who knows what he's going to propose? You know, right now, the talk is that it's going to be some big stimulus package. We don't know. I mean, personally, I think and it's been borne out in, in his own, you know, you could, you could look Biden up, you could go on YouTube, you could Google him. He, he's a fiscal conservative, right? He's one of these Democrats who are all about fiscal responsibility, you know, responsibility. To me, res fiscal responsibility means government doing what it needs to do to uh, promote the general welfare. Remember that? That's in the Constitution, in the preamble, all right? They call fiscal responsibility like cutting. Remember, Biden, he's, he's on record saying, hey, everything's on the table. When it comes to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, we can cut all those things because we have to be fiscally responsible. 
But none of that stuff's going to happen immediately. So what I'm saying is that we got to get through the election. I think any uh, market downturn that comes as a result of the election outcome, that is a buying opportunity. But again, I make these videos every day, so they'll be updated. And, um, a lot of stuff this week is going to be in the new MMT Trader Report. You know, the banking data, um, of course, all the fiscal flows, everything like that, commodities, oil, etc. Interesting developments in gold. Producers are selling above 1900. I've been saying that. I've been saying the market's capped here because producers keep selling it, keep coming in and selling every time gold pops above 19, around 1930. Uh, oil. Producers are selling in oil, um, but not aggressive selling, basically. They're, they're liquidating longs. Uh, a lot of stuff. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. If you're not getting this information, you're really not informed, all right? You're basically throwing darts at a dartboard, and um, that, that's a very unsophisticated way to go about it. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye-bye.